Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight at 5. Gun violence and mental health, two issues coming up time and again, this time in the face of threats to a daycare center in Memphis. Parents in Midtown were notified of threats made by someone who has not been detained. Zaria Oates spoke with one of the parents, hoping for more transparency from local officials. We uh, were notified by a whole school message from the director on Monday at 3 p.m. that MPD had notified the school that there was a threat made to say that there was an individual who was not in police custody who was going to shoot up one of the schools in Midtown. Audrey Royal says Memphis police was also supposed to patrol the school area to ensure safety as the person has not yet been apprehended. Police did come, but they were only there for about an hour. They left before school let out, which did not put any of our minds at ease. Lindenwood Child Care sent a message to parents at 2 p.m. Wednesday saying MPD and a crisis intervention team met up with the individual Tuesday evening. They found the threats to the school were not credible. However, Audrey and other parents say they don't feel safe having their kids Kids in the daycare centers without the suspect in police custody. On the back of Uvalde, that happened just this summer, that's still fresh in all of our minds. Absolutely, it's a very serious threat um, and I take it very seriously. We actually have kept our child home today. She will not be returning to school until this person is either apprehended or um, again, there's a police presence or, you know, the situation is resolved because there's just, there's nothing more important than the safety of our children. Audrey is hoping that the threats are taken seriously by law enforcement as it has been multiple days since the person made initial threats to the first center in Midtown. In Memphis, I'm Zaria Oates. Now we have emailed MPD and the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations. TBI says this is not an incident in which their involvement was requested. MPD has informed us this is an ongoing investigation and asked community members to report anything out of the ordinary.